Hi, I'm Hugo Febvre. I sing and play the guitar for the band Anthropia. I'm making this video to introduce you to our new album, based on the Cthulhu Mythos and Lovecraft's writings. It's called Non-Euclidean Spaces. <laughs> If you don't know us, Anthropia is a prog metal band based in Nice, France. We already released two studio albums, the Iran Chronicles Part 1, with Magda Carta Records in 2006, the Chain Reaction in 2009 with our own label, Ardaka Records. And we also got a live unplugged album, Acoustic Reactions, 2010. They are all available on iTunes, Spotify, I'll let you have a listen. If Anthropia was initially my solo project, it rapidly turned into a real band, with Nathalie Ilmi, vocals, guitarist Jan Muad, Julian Negro at the bass guitar, and Damien Renault on the drums. Oh man, what now? <laughs> so, let's speak a bit about the new album now. First of all, I must say that we are big fans of H.P. Lovecraft. As for me, I read nearly all the short stories, novels, played to all the related board games, card games, video games, role-playing games, watched the movies. That was then obvious for us to make an album about his work. The album is called Non-Euclidean Spaces, in reference to the architecture of the strange places we often meet in the Lovecraft's worlds. In this concept album, I try to recycle the main themes of the short stories. For example, Melancholy or Misanthropia for the Silver Key, Magic, Curse for the Thing on the Doorstep or the Shadow Over in Smouth, and of course, Horror and Madness for the Call of Cthulhu. Here's the plot. We follow a 50 years old Randolph Carter, who finally regained his ability to dream and travel through dimensions and other worlds, like he used to do during his childhood. But in the meantime, a secret sect called the Silver Twilight Lodge is about to wake great old ones again, because the stars are now aligned. Come on, who's spoiling the mood? <sighs> who cares? <sighs> anyway. I'll let you check the detailed story below on this page. Musically speaking, the new album is again a good mix between prog and power metal, with some soft and atmospheric parts. Being a classical guitar player myself, I also added more original parts with classical music. For example, a cover of Foucault, a piece from the great French composer Roland Diens. We also are very lucky, because we have two very special guests on the album. First, Arian Anthony Lucassen, who needs no introduction, but I'll do it anyway. He's a great composer of Arion, Star One. He takes care of the narrative parts on all the songs of the album. And also Edu Falashi, singer of Alma, ex-singer of Vengra, who did us the honor to sing the song The Snake Den. We thank them for their performance and enthusiasm on the project. A little word about the artwork. It's done by David Demarais, a great French artist who is used to work with the Cthulhu Mythos, especially designing board games, card games. I'm sure you'll like it as much as we do. Technically speaking, the album has been mixed and mastered at Darth Mado Music in Los Angeles by our drummer Damien Reynaud. In a way, it was made by the edge of the water, composed on the French Riviera and engineered on the US West Coast. Therefore, I wouldn't be surprised if some deep ones helped in the process too. Well, I hope you like what you read and hear on this page and that you'll find interest in the project. Please check our reward packages, you'll surely find something that suits you. It will help us to cover the expenses of mixing, recordings, artworks, pressing. In two words, if you're into metal, Cthulhu or Lovecraft, this album is for you. No need to mention that you'll be the first to receive the album and... 
Holy f... Tagen. It's for now. The stars align. Okay, okay, quick. Okay. Okay, so, step one, candle. Okay. Step two, pennant. Okay. Step three, spell. Hey, shub, ham gigam suki shegiga, gar shag das amaradia. Ya, ya. Ya. Oh. <clears throat> um, welcome to you, your grander and. <laughs> <laughs> 